Today I'm going to explain about how to make a general entry for service revenues. So what is the service revenue, types of service revenue, general entry for service revenue and what is the effect of service revenue on financial statements. Service revenue is the income a company generates from providing services. It does not include things like a shipment of goods or interest received. For example, consulting, professional fees, repair of some machinery and plumbing services. In this case, the company is not going to sell any product or any item to anyone. So what are the types of uh, service revenue? There are basically two types of service revenue. The first one is operating revenue and second one is non-operating revenue. So what is operating revenue? This is the amount of income generated from the company's primary source of business. For example, revenue generated by RJ Private Limited by providing a repair of a washer dryer, other electronic devices and annual maintenance charges for providing services directly related to the electronics business. And second one is non-operating services or revenue. This is the amount of income generated from a company's side activities such as dividend income or investment income. I'm just going to explain this with one example. So service revenue, this involved recording revenues when the transaction occur rather than when the customer pays the amount. So account receivable is a personal account first of all and represent the debtors. It means that we have uh, provided services but the money is not received. So once that money is not received, we will receive this money later on from the parties. So those payments and the parties are known as debtors of the company which appear on the debit which appear on the asset side of the balance sheet. The rules of personal account is debit the receiver and credit the giver. Suppose when account receivable is issued, it's debited because that represent debtors from whom money is receivable. So general entry would be account receivable account debit to service revenue. So in this case that the services are provided by the company and the money is due but not received. That amount is $135,000. So that is the personal account. According to the rule that I have put on the debit side and debit the receiver and this is uh, the current asset signature as the value of the dollar has increased. So what will be the effect of this transaction on the profit and loss count and balance sheet? On the profit and loss count which is also known as income and expenditure account. So the service revenue will appear on the income side means credit side of the income and expenditure account. And on the other side that the effect will be on the balance sheet on the asset side. Account receivable that will come under the current assets under the assets side of the balance sheet. So what is the conclusion of this topic? So income is generated from providing services only. It means that we are not providing and selling any product or item to anyone. As per the revenue recognition principle, revenue is recognized and entry is made when the goods or services are transferred to the customer whether the cash is received or not.